Today I will talk about fibrous dysplasia. Fibrous dysplasia is a benign tumor that has been likened to a localized developmental arrest of bone constituents. The lesions arise during skeletal development, and they appear in several, distinctive but sometimes overlapping. Clinical patterns, monostotic, involvement of a single bone, polyostotic, involvement of multiple bones, Mazabrod syndrome, fibrous dysplasia and soft tissue myxoma, mccune albright syndrome, polyostotic fibrous dysplasia, skin pigmentations, and endocrine abnormalities, especially precocious puberty. Morphology, the lesions of fibrous dysplasia, are well circumscribed, intramedullary, and vary greatly in size. Larger lesions expand and distort the bone. The lesional tissue is composed of curvilinear trabeculae of woven, bone surrounded by a moderately cellular fibroblastic proliferation. The trabeculae lack prominent osteoblastic rimming, hemorrhage, and foamy macrophages are other common findings. Clinical course, monostotic fibrous dysplasia often stops enlarging at the time of growth plate closure. The lesion is frequently asymptomatic and is usually discovered incidentally, but it may cause pain, fracture, and discrepancies in limb length. Symptomatic lesions are cured. By curettage, polyostotic fibrous dysplasia may continue to cause problems into adulthood. If it involves the limb, girdles, it can cause crippling, deformities, and fractures. Thank <laughs> you.